All right, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. Today is update day, my favorite day ever, really. Uh, it's best, it's best. Oh, uh, this is gonna be version 1.14, and it brings this. This new place, we've never been. What is this place? Where Where are we? What, what's, what's going on? This is a new free workshop, kind of tied into the uh, free IT expansion, celebrating the success of the free IT expansion. This is the executive suite. Uh, and we can use it now in free build. And I I, I think maybe you can use it? Well, I don't know. I, mean, I guess we'll see if we encounter it in the DLC uh, in the IT expansion at all. But it's at least a free workshop for uh, free build. And I assume you could use it for career mode as well. So this is it. There's two rooms. This is this is my room. This is the this is the boss's room. I gotta say, that's not a super like convincing office chair. It doesn't look very comfortable, but um, you can have, obviously like your main computer can be out here. I don't have anything out here because like my free build stuff got wiped out which is pretty disappointing uh the printer's here of course it, not that it does anything in in free build mode but it's there uh we got some sticky notes which don't say anything cute and clever i thought i thought maybe it would um space depot revised I, I don't i don't know what it says um but yeah there you go cool we got like a little area for people to sit i don't know it's fun different workshop and then over here is where the magic happens we got our three workbenches like we do in any workshop we've got a drift racer 2 console which we can't do anything with and the, the graphics on screen are sadly low resolution uh we've of course got our putting green as any executive should golf pro nice uh this is the cabinet where we'll keep our computers and whatnot our parts and we've also got a pinball machine classic pinball uh yeah nice i can't i can't play it so it's too bad that would have been fun if they built that as a mini game but uh yeah this is it this is the this is the new executive suite free workshop so here you go enjoy it uh now let's get on to what else is new in this game in in the update we've got a bunch of new stuff of course um the new executive workshop we went over that we've got new decor items so decor is like a thing that's that was introduced in the in the it dlc where you can go in and like purchase items to put on shelves and decorate stuff i think it's only inside of the it expansion though um so we don't have access to it here like i don't i don't have the app anywhere on computer or anything it's it's not it's not a thing um but yeah, you can do that in the IT expansion and you can, you know, put stuff around your office and put stuff on shelves and on walls and whatnot. So there's some new decor items. Um, shout out to some of the other, um, so like they've got like the, the, like the NZXT puck, if you know that. They've added like a big puck mascot. Um, they've added like Oris's uh, robot, robot things so that's in there as well. Uh, what else we have? We've got, of course, we've got a bunch new, a bunch of new parts as well that we're gonna go over. But yeah, there's a bunch of new decor stuff, uh, mini Halloween pumpkin. There's like Christmas tree. The, some of the things that we're used to seeing in like the original workshop when you turn on like Christmas mode or Halloween mode. The razor toast, like I said, the NZXT puck. Uh, we've got those bottles from NZXT's workshop. A bunch of the stuff that you see like in the vendor specific workshops. Uh, the Oris robots, the you know. Anyway, they've got it all in the in the change log, which you, which you can check out in the description below if you want to read more about all the weird decor items that they added. Uh, but let's get into new parts because there's a bunch of them. There are a bunch of them. Uh, let's get right into it now. The big the big new part that they're gonna that they kind of highlight in the update is a new case, and it is of course let's see the. What is at the bottom here? The Cooler Master Masterbox NR200P. This is a mini ITX case, which I'm always excited about because we don't have that many mini ITX cases in the game, and I'm always happy to add new, especially when we get this many variants. So we've got a bunch. We've got versions with Windows. Um, you're obviously seeing some really interesting color variations here, which is cool. We don't get that a lot in the game. Uh, and then we've got solid, we've got like the perforated side panel as well. So we've got a bunch of cool options here. And also the limited edition Sakura window case, which they kind of use, they highlight the release with. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, just to sh let's see, actually, let's, 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 look, let's look at one of these. I'm really enjoying this blue one, which I would call teal. Uh, let's let's put this over here. Let's, let's, put, let's put this over here in our cabinet. It's so far away. This workshop is so large. And there you go. Mini ITX case, NR200P. That's pretty cool. I'm excited to build in that. Uh, and it does support three slot GPUs down here or two slot GPUs vertically. So it's a pretty cool case. We got SFX power supply mount around back. We're going to be building with that one soon. That's a lot of fun. Uh, so that's really the only new case that they highlight. Though I thought it was interesting because... 
you scroll the way down here, you also have the IQ 5000X RGB from Corsair. And I wasn't sure, do we have a 5000 at all? So I don't know if that's new. A lot of times, like basically like when they when they add new parts of the game, they always get stacked down here at the bottom. So this may, may or may not be new. It's not in the change log, but it might be new. So take that as you will. All right, let's get to motherboards. Let's scroll down. We've got a bunch of new ones. Now you're probably wondering, oh my gosh, Z690 boards? Intel 12th, 12th gen? Uh, no, no, it's not here. It's not here yet, sorry. Nope, sorry, uh, huh, nope. We've got, uh, instead we've got some new boards from ASRock. In fact, they're all from ASRock. And uh, let's see, where does, where does it start? Right here. The Z590M, we've got a B550, Z590M ITX, that would work well in our new Cooler Master case. Uh, ASRock B550 Pro, we got a TRX40, um, that's interesting, a new TRX40 for uh, Threadripper. That's, that's kind of cool. We haven't had a new Threadripper board in a while. Uh, Z590 Gaming, Z or X570 Extreme, and X570 Pro 4. So those are the new motherboards here, all from ASRock. No, 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 no 12th gen, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, we do have a new CPU though. I guess we could look at that now. We do have a new CPU and it's from Intel and it's the 10980XE, which is interesting. We've had the 9980XE as kind of like our super, you know, high performance desktop uh, CP, CPU from Intel for a long time. And, but now we have the 10980XE. So there it is, 18 cores, woohoo. Okay, uh, I mean, it's actually a beast of a CPU, but, because it used to be like way back in PC Building Simulator, like the 9980XE was the CPU for overclocking, but it's since then it's been, it's been, been beaten pretty, pretty significantly. Um, so I don't know, I don't think that one's gonna do any better because the 10980XE isn't like a huge step up from a 9980XE from what I remember. Uh, but yeah, it's here, it's in the game. I actually forgot that it wasn't in the game. So case fan, we've got two new case fans well, hmm, again, I get confused. I, I don't think the Fractal Design one's new. See, things kind of get stacked around weird. Cooler Master Sickle Flow 120. <laughs> Sickle Flow, what a cool name. It's weird. Uh, I guess it's non-RGB, interesting. And then the Inwin Luna AL 120. There you go, RGB fan. So two 120 mil fans, those are new. We've got one new air cooler and a bunch of new liquid coolers. Let's scroll down and find them. Um, there we go. The Rasion Tech Elios RBW is our new air cooler. And then all of these liquid coolers are new. Cooler Master, Master Liquid. We've got a 240, another 240. Oh, okay, that's the Phantom Gaming. This is the Illusion. They are different. They're actually quite different. Uh, we've got a white Illusion. I'm always into more white AIOs, with, especially with white radiators. So that's awesome. I'm actually kind of excited about that. Um, We've got a 240 for that. We've got a 360 version of the Black Illusion. Uh, we've also got a Master Liquid Mirror. Wow, Cooler Master has several variants of AIOs in here. A 240 and a 360. Oh, and that's a Threadripper edition, specifically. This is just like an interesting lineup. Uh, G-Skill, wow, G-Skill now with their first AIO in the game, I believe. N-Key, they have a 240, 280, 360. And then Inwin with the BR36, which is weird. I actually put it on a computer over here, so we'll we'll take a look at that here. And then the Rajin Tech with the EOS 240 and the 360. Now, if we look at this Inwin, it's it's really quite interesting. <laughs> I was like, I gotta put this on a computer. What what is this fan? Like, I don't know if this is just visual. I don't know how much this could be doing, or if it's really somehow like cooling the block a little bit. I don't know. Uh, but there you go. It's 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 striking. I guess it's it's striking. Uh, so that's it for air coolers, liquid coolers. Now we've got a bunch of new graphics cards we're going to look at. We've um, we've got new Founders Edition cards. We've got the 3080 Ti, the 3070 Ti, and the 3060 Ti. We had our first 3080 Ti in the last update um, from Zotac, and now we have the Founders 3080 Ti. And I think we had the 3060 Ti already, did we not? I think we did. I think we had it. I think we had like yeah. I think we had the gaming trio already. Right? Is that right? That feels right. Yeah, I think we did. We already had this, pretty sure. Um, we've got these new ones from Colorful Eye Game. They are goofy, um, but they're a very similar, like, cooler style as the Founders Edition cards, but they've got this bizarre graphic. I've actually got it in this computer also, so we can take a look at that as well. Uh, but now we've got the Founders 3060 Ti. I don't think we had a 3070 Ti, but now we do? Yeah, because that's just a regular 3070. 
Uh, the Zotac 3070 Ti, this is new. So yeah, this is our first 3070 Ti in the game. Um, here's a look at that ridiculous, colorful card. I mean, it's, it, yeah, like I said, it's very similar, cooler style to the Founders Edition card, though it's got cooling um, exposed out the side, which is a little bit different, um, but similar fan placement uh, and orientation. So it's kind of interesting. I don't know, it's like, it's, it's, a, it's a look. I mean, it would definitely make like a cool theme build, I guess. Um, Okay, then what else do we have as far as graphics cards? Like, we've got these new um, Core Hollows from Zotac. We've got a 3090, a 3070 Ti, a 3080 Ti, and we've also got their 3060 Ti Twin Edge, I believe. Somewhere. Some, somewhere. It's, it's in here. It's in here somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, okay, cool. Got it. So we've got those um, from Zotac. We've got the colorful ones we looked at. And then we've got the Founders ones. So those are our new graphics cards. Uh, looks like 10 total cards. So, yeah, it's cool. That's fun. 3070 Ti is first time in the game. Uh, and we got a new 30 Ti. And I'm always excited about new Founders Edition cards. So those are here. Uh, CPU, we went over. RAM. We've got new memory for the first time in a little while. Nothing that's going to break the overclocking barrier, but we got some new offerings from Team Group and a couple from G Skill, which I'm excited about the G Skill ones especially. Uh, this is the Team Group Dark Pro, and it comes in like this red accented version and then this just like non accented version. So, um, is it actually RGB? No, I think it's not actually RGB. We've got quite a few different speeds there. Nothing, like I said, nothing earth shattering, um, kind of topping out like mid to low 3000 megahertz ish so nothing crazy but cool to have the options and then we've also got this team group zeus which is interesting we've got 32 gig dim all the way up to a 32 gig dim on it though which is pretty interesting and we've got a few different variants of that nothing again super fast and then we've got this the trident z royal we've got a couple more offerings of trident z royal is that graphic different for that than the old one did they update the graphic? I swear that this sticker wasn't on these before. I swear. Um, so what's the new? Okay, so the new ones that we got are fast. 4,266 megahertz, 16 gig dim. So that's actually pretty cool. It's not gonna be the fastest RAM in the game still, but that is fast. I bet that is expensive. I bet it's really expensive. Um, here's a look at that team. T-Force uh, Dark Pro with a red accent. Yeah, so it looks good. No RGB, kind of simple, I like it. Clean. Uh, all right, what else do we have? We've got not a whole lot else, but we've got a little bit of stuff from water cooling. Uh, we've got some CPU blocks from Rajin Tech. Let's scroll down and take a look. Wow, those are aggressive. Here we've got we are Gigabyte. That was in here last time. It's from our all-in-one water block on our new motherboard. Uh, we've got the Forkus Elite. What a name, Forkus. Forkus Elite. Uh, AM4, 1151, 1200, and 2066 sockets. So non-threadripper. And then we've got the Forkus Pro RBW, which is the same thing, but looks like RGB. So new water blocks there. Um, we've got some new storage options. And then we've, we also got a new NVLink bridge from EVGA for four slot spacing, which is really cool. I'm gonna have to like look into that and try to find a board that'll do four slot spacing and a Ford and a, a, um, a case and a motherboard combo that'll do four slot spacing. So I can take a look at what that bracket looks like. Um, that's that that's cool but storage is actually something i'm pretty excited about we have not had we have not had storage additions in a long time i've been continuing to use the same m.2 drives for a long time and it's fine there's some good pcie gen 4 ones but we've got some new ones now from team group the cardia cardia zero um and i think this is gen oh no that's pcie 3.0 is there PCIe 4.0? No, it's all PCIe 3.0. Interesting. Okay, I thought maybe it was going to be 4.0. It's graphene. That's something. Uh, but it goes all the way up to 4 terabytes. We have a 4 terabyte offering, which is pretty cool. Is that our first 4 terabyte uh, M.2 in the game, maybe? It might be. And then we've also got a couple, a few 2.5 inch... Uh, SSDs from them as well, uh, which are pretty cool. Delta Tough, those are those are cool looking. I wanna see four terabyte, is that our first four terabyte? Wow, that is our first four terabyte M.2 in the game, which is pretty cool. PCIe Gen 3.0, so you know, but it's still no slouch, so there you go. So that's all of the parts that are in the game. Uh, I would like to look at that 
and V-Link Bridge from UGA sometime soon. Uh, in addition to that, we've got a bunch of bug fixes and different um, fixes related to the game and to the um, expansions and the career modes and all that. So be sure to take a look at the full uh, changelog the link is down in the description below. But that is all the highlights to the 1.14 update. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy, you want to see more videos of PC Building Simulator or any other games we've been playing, be sure to subscribe. And either way, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.